Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good day again everyone. Today I will be teaching you about operation and integers and to be specific, we will be discussing about subtraction. You will see here that there is only one rule when it comes to subtraction and that is change the sign of the subtrahend and proceed to addition. So of course, meron tayong mini one and subtrahend. So let's just define. So meron tayong say um, 6. Minus 7 is equals to um, negative 1. Ito yung tinatawag natin na subtrahend. At yung tinatawag natin na minuen. And of course, this is your difference. Okay? So, ito lang po yung mga parts natin. Okay? I hope you remember this one. So, ang ginagawa lang natin dito is we change the sign. So, please remember that the minus sign and the... Um, the minus sign and then of course the positive and negative or the signs of the numbers is different. So what do I mean by that? Say we have an example. 6 minus 3 is very different from 6 minus negative 3. Okay po? So in this case po, ito pong minus is not the sign of the 3. So this minus is just simply the operation where in fact Ang sign ng 6 is positive, ang sign ng 3 is positive. On this case, ang sign ng 6 is positive but the sign of the 3 is negative. Okay po? So, it's very different po seeing the 6 minus 3 and 6 minus negative 3. And then again, ang rule lang naman natin is very simple. Ang gagawin nyo, you have to take yung 6 again. Okay? Then, you take 3, but you have to change the sign. Wherein, ang sign na itong 3 na to before is positive. Therefore, it would become negative. Okay, and then of course, you need to proceed to addition. Okay, going back here, that's negative 3. So, it becomes 3 with the sign of positive. And proceed to addition. So, ganun lang po yung ruling natin when it comes to this given. You have to change the sign of your subtrahend, ito yan, and proceed to addition. So, of course, um, kung babalikan natin yung ating topics before, the ruling about adding is, if it is, wait, if it is of the same sign, you simply add and copy the sign. And in this case, the answer for this is 6 plus 3, the answer is 9. Copy the sign, so para siyang positive, so it's positive 9. And lastly, on this case, since magkaiba ng sign, you will subtract yung maliit, babawas mo dun sa malaki. Which is 6 minus 3, the answer is 3. Then you copy the sign of the larger number, which is of course positive 6. So positive yung nandito. Okay? So therefore, 6 minus 3 is positive 3. And 6 minus negative 3, ito yan, is equals to positive 9. Okay? So again, you change the sign. Let's have another example. Negative 7 minus negative 2. Okay? So, ang ruling natin again, we change the sign. So, this would simply be negative 7, same. Ang babaguhin mo, itong subtrahend lang. Okay? So, that's positive 2 dapat. Positive 2. Okay? Nilalagay ko lang for emphasis, pero again, yung mga positive, pwede mo nang alisin. Okay po? So, I am just putting, putting it just for emphasis. And then lastly, proceed to addition. Again, you will notice it's always addition. Okay po? Then let's try to answer. Negative 7 plus positive 2. Ang sagot yan would be 7 minus 2 kasi magkaiba ng sign. The answer is 5. And you, then you copy the sign which is negative and negative 5. Okay? I do hope you got that. It's a little bit easy lang naman. Ano ba nangyayari? We always proceed to addition. So basically, in every subtraction, you will have the rule of addition. Okay po? So, you always go back to our previous topic. Okay po? So, thank you everyone for listening. That is addition of um, operation and integers um, subtraction. Thank you for listening everyone and Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.